This looks interesting. Shepard to Normandy. Joker, do you read me? Shepard, you have become an annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to be harvested. Maybe you're right. Maybe we can't win this. But we'll fight you regardless. Just like we did Sovereign. Just like I'm doing now. However insignificant we might be. We will fight. We will sacrifice. And we will find a way. That's what humans do. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. Commander Shepard, Normandy inbound for pickup. Roger that. Get us 
out of here, Joker. Huh. Looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system is destroyed. I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. I confirmed Dr. Kenson's proof. The Reapers were coming, and destroying that relay was the only way to stop them. Kenson sedated me for almost two days. I started the engines with little more than an hour left. I tried to warn the Batarian colony, but... Time ran out. The Batarians report no survivors from Aratat. At least you tried. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians. Not with the Collectors out there taking our colonists. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but... There were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system. All dead. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. So what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it. But I can and will make them fight for it. I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life. And they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. So for now, I can be friendly. Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarian's response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. What's the Alliance doing about the Collectors? We're setting fleets around our major colonies and evacuating our smaller ones. But the ships that encounter the Collectors haven't reported back. We're outmatched. I'm really hoping you and Cerberus have an ace up your sleeve. Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarians' response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. I'll gladly stand trial once this mission is done. Glad to see working with Cerberus hasn't stripped away your sense of honor. 
do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on, ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Some other time. About to test new bioweapon. Not on us, of course. Didn't think I had to specify, but Joker got nervous. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. With something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. We'll talk later. Commander. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you... Shepard. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. I should go. Of course. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. I'm really glad you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person, 
But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. This one security guy keeps staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm used to being watched by security, but they're usually staring at my eyes or watching my hands. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. How can I help you, Commander? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Shepard! I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. I knew this girl once, Asari. Good head on her shoulders. We had this whole thing going, until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. Doesn't matter who you are. You got a gun in your face, chances are good you'll do what the other man says. Only two types don't buckle at that point. Train killers and psychopaths. A lot of people can't tell the difference. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Hey. Talk to me, Jack. Shepard, we talked enough. You're just pissing around. No hard feelings, but I don't want to play. I should go. Whatever. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bullshit! Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry, it won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? I wouldn't get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alari. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. 
I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. But Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't all have been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld in our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first, and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though, except... Well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a... Um, wow, it's really hot in here. It's just that the tradition also signifies a willingness for um, intimacy. I wasn't trying to... It's not always like that. It's more... Um, how did we even end up talking about this? Wait a minute. It sounds like you're suggesting something, Tally. What could I possibly be suggesting? I mean, a young woman gets rescued by a dashing commander who lets her join his crew and then goes off to save the galaxy? How could she possibly develop any kind of interest in him? Tally, that's really sweet, but I don't feel that way about you. I'm sorry. Right, right, of course not. But why would you? It was just something I meant hypothetically, talking about immune systems and air filters and such. I'm going to tinker a bit more. Thanks for coming by. What can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Commander. Shepard? Just checking in. How you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. That's all for now. Shepard. No messages for you, Commander. 